Let's learn how to create virtual environments for or set of virtual environment for Python development uh, in VS Code. Okay, so what you do, launch a VS Code. As once it's launched like this, then go to file, then op uh, open folder. Then you, of course you ought to have created a folder. Pick a folder you want to have your application. Okay, so select it like this. So you see that in my case, I I have a Python data analysis. Uh, I have a Python a folder that I've created. So once you have it like this, what you do, uh, look launch a new terminal as you can see. So it opens up like this. So while you are here, so what you need to do is to enter uh, a few commands. So you type py, then have an mvenv, then space dot venv. So press enter. So if you look at here and you see that there is a folder, a dot venv folder, as you can see here, right? So that uh, basically creates uh, create the folder. So when that has been done, so in order to make use of it, so what you do, you type that folder name, that is dot uh, venv, backward slash scripts, then backward slash activate. So you need to activate it before you can make use of it. So once you do that, it opens up like this and it's activated. So you can see the directory here. Okay, so after, after that has been done, so the next thing you need to do is to, you just want to know where it was created or where it is. If you are using a uh, Mac, uh, I think they use which, which Python. So type where Python and press enter. So it shows up like this. So basically that has been done. Now you want to ask, why do you need to create, why would you want to create a, a virtual environment? Now, okay, let me just create a file there. I just create a file called uh, test.py for Python. So now the reason why you, or well, one of the reasons why you have to create or why you need to create virtual environment is for you to, I mean, for you to be able to manage your packages, so as you can see here, so that you don't have any conflicts moving forward as you develop your applications. And as if you move, if you happen to move this project elsewhere, so what happens is that the project goes with the virtual environment, so you don't need to install it all over again. If I want to import a new package, I want to import uh, uh, pandas now, as you can see, so you see that it's not available in this project. So what I need to do is to is to uh, include it or is to install it in the virtual environment. Okay, so so this uh, so to do that, just type p uh, pip install the pandas. So once you do that, it installs it like this. So of course, so see that uh, pandas has been installed successfully. So it's giving me a little warning here in terms of the the version of uh, of uh, pip I'm using. Of course, I'll just quickly update that. All right, so that simply does it on how to how to set up virtual environment. Like I said, the reason for it is for you to be able to manage your packages and um, as a result, avoid uh, conflicts in, with other packages and so on and so forth. All right, so I hope this helps. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're not done so already. Like the video and share it. See you in another video. Thank you for watching.